it's Lionel Tech Lead and partner West Vault. And first of all, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. It's the end of the year and this is my favorite time of the year to just sit back and actually start working on stuff. Yes, I really start working on stuff. But in this video, I found a really interesting way of actually showing you how fantastic PHP is. I found a way to play a computer game using PHP. And I gotta say, I was a little bit skeptical at the start, but I wanted to get a video and when I started doing it, it was really fun. And it's a really good way for you guys to see how PHP works and actually play around with it. So if you're a new programmer or if you have kids or you have wanna just try it out, not only can you see your code actually working right, but you can actually see, uh, you know, they have a little bit of a unit test that runs the thing and you can actually go step by step. Is that I am going to start the first uh, programming exercise where I will be actually in an X-Wing or something and I will be shooting the bad guys. shooting the TIE fighters, I'll be pretending to write a code and script to do that. And we're going to see how it goes uh, and we're going to have fun actually coding the thing through. So I'll, let's get on to it. Okay guys, so this is the site that I found. It's called Coding Coding Game. Alright, and I gotta say, I'm a little bit skeptical at the start because I didn't want to do lead code. It's so boring, it's so this. And I think PHP is a lot more fun, it's a lot more engaged. So I use this and I gotta say, it's a lot of fun here. So let's just go over here. I wonder whether I can go back to uh, level one. So let's go to level one here. Can we go to level one? Okay. And uh, it, they have an introduction code here and I'll take you through this. So basically, hi, I'm in, um, uh, you know, I'm in the Millennium Falcon and I'm shooting TIE fighters as they're coming after me. But instead of Luke Skywalker, who has to do it manually, uh, it turns out that you're a PHP programmer and you're going to write a code to shoot this thing. Okay, and that sounds really interesting. Okay, so let's watch the loading of the code there. It's got its own IDE. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, I will actually go through the tutorial for you. So you don't have to bother too much about that, right? So in, let's take a look at this. First of all, you've got this little uh, animation here, which I found so interesting. Like, it just makes things so interesting. And uh, you, you can play the video of what actually uh, is a success or failure. And then um, basically on the start of the turn, you have enemy one and distance one. So I've changed this to PHP over here on top of the scale here that you can see this. I hope I can zoom in a little bit later on, but basically you can see this as PHP. And before your turn is over, output either enemy one or enemy two to shoot the closest enemy. Okay, so idea is that the two enemies coming at you and you're gonna shoot the one who is nearest. So although it's a very easy example, I found like imagine that we only had uh, you know enough laser cannons to hit the nearest person, right? And we're more accurate at the nearer range. So if you write an algorithm that targets the closest TIE fighter and destroys that TIE fighter, you will be more successful than trying to shoot the one that's far away. And this could be a very good example. So I'm just gonna go in here they got I've actually done the tutorial already but let's let's just comment out this code here and see what happens so they've got a little test case so let's run the test case here and on the left hand side right it actually runs out and after one loop right that's it you've lost because it didn't shoot anything at all so let's let's take a look at PHP itself so you have the PHP tag over here uh, into this area on the right hand side and let's take a look at it. So first of all, we have a while loop, right? So this is like an infinite while loop that actually just keeps going on. So it's going like a um, like a per turn basis and then we have a um, inputting couple of variables in there. So we have the name of the enemy, we have the distance of the enemy, we have two enemies and what we're going to do is look for the closest one, right? 
So this is appearing on the left hand side of us and we have this code over here and we're just going to go out and write the code. Look at what I've done over here. So all I did is you just go if distance one is less than distance two, echo, they got this slash n which is like um, showing you the diff, uh, like a line where they know that that's the end of the output. And if distance one is less than distance two, shoot enemy one, okay? If distance, otherwise shoot enemy two. So if two of them are coming, that's what's gonna happen. So then we've got this test case. So let's take a look at this and let's take a look and uh, see what happens.